Hey everyone, today we are looking at parallel lines cut by a transversal again, and we are going to use the relationships between the angles and parallel lines cut by a transversal to actually determine angle measurements. So we will be given information, and then we can use that information to determine missing angle measures based on the relationships that we know are existent in here. Remember, the angle pair is either going to be supplementary or congruent. So over here we have an example of parallel lines cut by a transversal. Remember that angles 1, 3, 5, and 7 are all the same angle measures. So for example, if they give you angle 1 and tell you to find angle 5, you know that they will be equal. And then angle 8, 6, 4, and 2 are all the same. So if they give you angle 2, you know it'll be the same as angle 6. And then remember, a pink angle plus a green angle equals 180 degrees. So if they're asking you to find an angle that's not the same, we can use this relationship to help as well. So that's what we're talking about here. First, we decide if the angle pair is supplementary or congruent. If the angles are congruent, then we will set them equal to each other. If they are supplementary, then we'll add them together and set them equal to 180 to determine the missing one. So let's practice that here. On number one, first I need to decide if these are congruent or if they are supplementary. Well, they're right across from each other. That's vertical angles, so that means that they are congruent. And since they're congruent, I can just set them equal to each other. So 108 is the same thing as X. So that means that that missing X angle measure is also 108 degrees. Okay, number two, these angles are on opposite sides of the parallel lines. They're outside the parallel lines and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. That means they're alternate exterior. You can see that they're both acute angles, so those are also going to be congruent or equal to each other. So I can just set them equal to each other, 57 equals X, and that means that that missing angle measure is also 57 degrees. Okay, number three, these angles are forming a line, and we know that lines add up to 180 degrees, so these angles are supplementary. So instead of setting them equal to each other, I'm going to add them together, 120 plus X, and set them equal to 180. So we did that because these are different this time. Okay, now to find X, I'm going to subtract 120, and X is 60, and that makes sense because 60 plus 120 is 180. So this angle measure is 60 degrees. Okay, number four, they want us to find the value of X and the missing angle measure. So I need to first decide, are they equal or are they supplementary? They are on opposite sides of this transversal and outside the parallel line, so they're alternate exterior. That means these are the same or congruent. So I'm gonna set them equal to each other. So my equation that I'm starting out with is 115 equals 2x, since I know that those angles are the same. And then I need to find x by dividing by two, and 115 divided by two is 57.5. So the value of x is 57.5. Okay, that is not the angle measure though, because the angle measure was 2x. So to find the missing angle measure, I'll need to do 2 times 57.5. And 2 times 57.5 is 115, which makes sense because we had said that these were equal at the beginning. Okay, number five, these two angles form a line. That means that they are supplementary, so they are different. These are supplementary, 
So that means I'm going to add them together and set them equal to 180 degrees. So my equation would be 120 plus x plus 13 equals 180 degrees. Okay, this is a little bit harder of equation. So remember, we want to simplify both sides of the equation first. So I can combine 120 and 13 and 120 plus 13 is 133 plus x equals 180. And now this is just a one step equation. I'm going to subtract 133. And that will tell me what x is. 180 minus 133 is 47. So I found the value of x, it is 47. That does not tell me the angle measure though. To find the angle measure, I need to plug back into what the angle was, which was x plus 13. So it's gonna be 47 plus 13, which is 60. So the angle measure is 60, which makes sense because 60 plus 120 is 180. Okay, number six. These are corresponding angles because they're both in the top left corner of their intersection group. And corresponding angles are congruent. So that means I can set these equal to each other. So this will be 3x plus 10 equals 109. So let's solve this equation to find x and then we can substitute it back in to find the angle measure. So first thing I need to do to solve this equation is subtract 10 and I get 3x equals 99 and then we divide by three and we get x is equal to 33. So we found the value of x, it is 33. Now I need to find that missing angle measure, so I'm going to plug back in to 3x plus 10. So it'll be three times 33 plus 10, and I'm just gonna plug that into the calculator. Three times 33 plus 10 is 109, which makes sense because we know that those angles are the same and this angle was 109. Okay, number seven. I have two angles I'm gonna have to find this time, but it's still gonna be the same process. I will need to find the value of x and then I'll plug back into both expressions this time. So first let's start out by determining if these are congruent or supplementary. Since they form a line, they are supplementary. They are different. So that means I can add them together and set them equal to 180. So it'll be 4x plus 15 plus 3x plus 25 equals 180. So obviously this side is not simplified. I need to combine like terms. So 4x and 3x combine to create 7x and 15 plus 25 is 40. and it equals 180. Okay, now that's a lot simpler equation to work with. I'm going to subtract 40, and I get 7x equals 140, and then divide by seven, and I get that x equals 20. So I found x, it is 20, but I'm not done yet. I have to find both of these angle measures, and now that I know x, I can do that. So let's start with the green angle. It is 4x plus 15. So angle measure number one, we'll do it right here. It's 4x plus 15. So it'll be four times 20 plus 15. And four times 20 plus 15 is 95. So the first angle measure is 95 degrees. 
Okay, now let's find the second angle measure, the pink one. I'll do it right here. I'm going to plug into 3x plus 25. So it'll be 3 times 20 plus 25. And 3 times 20 plus 25 is 85. And I'm just going to double check that these are correct. Remember that they were supplementary, so they should add up to 180 degrees. So let's double check by doing 95 plus 85. Yes, it's 180, so we did it correctly. Okay, number eight. I have a set of vertical angles, so that means that these are congruent. So I can set them equal to each other. 10x minus 45 equals 7x. Okay, this side is simplified. I can't combine any like terms. Obviously, this side is simplified. So we are good to solve. And I have variables on both sides of the equation. Since I have an x by itself over here, I'm going to move the other x over there even though it's not the smallest. And now I have negative 45 by itself over here, and 7x minus 10x is negative 3x. And then my last step is to divide by negative 3. And negative 45 divided by negative 3 is 15. So x equals 15. Okay, now since these angle measures are the same, I only have to plug into one of them. So I'm going to plug into the simpler expression, which is 7x. And 7 times 15 is 105. So both of these angle measures are 105. If you wanted to plug into this one to check, you could. I'll do it in the calculator really quick. 10 times 15 minus 45 is also 105, so we did this correctly. But again, these were the same, so you only needed to plug into one of them. Okay, let's look at the last one. So these are both inside the parallel lines. Um, and this is same side interior. We haven't talked about that relationship before. But you can tell that this angle is acute and this one is obtuse. So they are going to be different sizes. You can just tell by looking at the picture they're going to be different sizes. So that means that these are supplementary. So that means I can add them and set them equal to 180 degrees. So x minus 17 plus the other angle 3x plus 1 equals 180 degrees. Okay, now obviously I need to simplify the left side. 3x and x combines to create 4x. And then negative 17 plus 1 is negative 16. I'm going to set it equal to 180. Next step in this equation is to add 16 to both sides. And I get 4x equals 196. And then I'm going to divide by 4. And 196 divided by 4 is 49. So I found the value of x, it is 49. Now I can use it to find my angle measures. Let's start with the first one, x minus 17. I'm going to replace x with 49, and 49 minus 17 is 32. Okay, now I need to find the other one, which is 3x plus 1. So I'm going to do 3 times 49 plus 1. And 3 times 49 plus 1 is 148. Okay, and remember these are supplementary, so they should add to 180 degrees. So I'm just going to check that really quick. 32 plus 148 
is 180 degrees, so we must have done that correctly.